Hello and welcome to chapter 6, part 3. In this part, we're taking a look at how to include a footstep sound effect for the player walking. Now, typically, in the third person action game or anything with animations, we could tie animations along with the sound effects. However, because we don't have an animation because we're in first person and we don't have a mesh that we're animating, we can't achieve this. So how do we accomplish this? Well, first of all, we need to import our footstep. So import footstep sound effect. Once that's imported in, we can go over to the player character. And in here, we'll be adding code to allow the footstep sound effect. So first of all, let's work out how and when we play sound effects. So on the move forward and move right are where we're going to be playing our sound effect. Because that's when we are moving. First thing we need to do is check whether or not we are actually moving using this access value on each. So drag the access value of each one and do a test whether or not they are not or equal to. So that's an exclamation mark and an equal sign. Not equal to another float and that is zero. So in other words this means that if the if the key's not being pushed, this is going to not do it. Okay, so if it's not not being pushed, in other words, being moved, uh, we'll carry on with some extra code here. We'll do exactly the same for here as well. So it's not equal to into a branch like so. So the true path from both of these will go into where we're playing our sound. So we're going to use something called a do once. On do once, both of them connect to true. And what this means is that they'll go through it once and it's locked off. Okay. Now we want to reset it after a amount of time, but the main thing is it's locked off. So when it's complete, let me just give myself some space. When it's complete, we're going to play sound effect. And we play sound at location. We'll do a footstep and we'll get the active location. We're then going to do a delay and we're going to delay it by 0.5 seconds. After that is completed, that'll go round to the reset. And we're just going to put some reroute nodes to make it nice and clear what's going on here. Hit compile and we're now going to test this game. So now when I'm standing still, no footstep sounds, but when I walk, I can pick up all these things, moving right, forward, left, up, down, all the rest of it, it will play a sound effect. And that is it. And that will do it for playing sound and music in our game. Thanks very much for watching. To recap, in part one we showed you how to import music and how to make it play music on a loop. In part two we went through and added sound effects to all of our actors, quite simply by using the play sound node. And lastly we managed to get our player to have footstep sound effects added to their walk movement. Thanks very much for joining us. In chapter 7, we'll be taking a look at how to do saving, so that when we go to the next level, we are saving our progress and allowing the player to continue that progress. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan for just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.